If you're comfortable with a cat cow and most importantly pain free, then we can begin to add a few cues into the movement that will help you to further mobilize your spine. So beginning in a standard cat cow position, we're gonna start working through some reps as we know the cat cow already, which is to flare the ribs on the way down, arching the back, and then to push the floor away, bringing the mid back up towards the ceiling. There are a few things that we can think of to refine the, this movement and make it far more effective on not only the spine, but the ribs, the scapula, and all of the internal inhalation muscles, such as the diaphragm. So as we move up to the top of the movement, into the angry cat position, I want you to take a big, deep belly breath in using the diaphragm. It might feel a bit restricted, that's fine. And then when you need to exhale, we're gonna to start to breathe out as we move down. When you get to the bottom of the movement, I want you to fully exhale, get every last drop of air out of the lungs, wait for a moment until you need to inhale again, and when you do, you can begin your ascent back up to the angry cat position. So we're gonna keep that pace of breathing. Allow your breathing to dictate your tempo, so don't rush it. Go with your breath. Some additional cues that we can add to that while we work through the movement. Number one, don't shrug your shoulders. This is a common mistake when you come up to the top and also down to the bottom position, there's a tendency to shrug the shoulders. So we need to resist that. Think about tucking your shoulder blades into your back pockets, keeping the shoulders low. And if you're not sure how to do that, you can always shrug to give you somewhere to go from and then bring the shoulders in the opposite direction. From there, we're gonna to begin to think about the shoulder blades. So at the bottom position, I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades together. So keep the cue in mind of not shrugging the shoulders. Big heart squeeze. You'll feel the mid back come into the movement now as that starts to mobilize and as we come up into the angry cat position, we're gonna push the shoulder blades apart. This is the most common place to begin to shrug the shoulders. So try to avoid that. It will get easier with practice to gain control over those scapula and that shoulder girdle. So now let's bring the neck into the movement as we come up into the angry cat. We're gonna slowly start to bring the chin into the chest, flexing the neck, giving us full flexion of the spine from top to bottom. And as we come down into the bottom position, you're going to extend the neck. So slowly start to look in front of you as you squeeze the shoulder blades. And the final cue that we're going to look at is the lower back. So at the top of the movement, the angry cat, you're going to tuck the pelvis in, crunch the abs, flatten the lower back out. And as you come down into the cow position, we're going to stick the bun up, arch the lower back. And what we're trying to do here is to bring all of those cues together, including the breathing, to give us a very well-rounded and effective mobilization of the spine, the scapula, the ribs, everything that interacts with the spine, even as far down as the pelvis. We're gonna work through this with 10 repetitions in each position.